We've reached the intermission, and soon we'll be sending you to Larry Ridley, who's going to break down all the first half highlights as we send it to Orlando in a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. Both teams have played a clean first half that there are no turnovers to this point. That being the case, it's no surprise that we have a very close game at halftime. All right, let's roll those highlights. Steelers later on the drive. The catch is made after a quick pass. And after the short pass, he'll score. Steelers now on top. First and 10, Brady's going to complete the pass, and he's going to go 51 yards for the score. Pat's tied up at 7. Steelers lined up at the 20, and he'll end up at the 25-yard line before being tackled. Steelers have it at the 4. Brown's the target here, and this play will go for 6. The Steelers up now by 14. Line up right at the 22-yard line. The deep ball is on target here, and this two-play drive goes for a touchdown. Patriots trail now by just seven. So that's it for us. We'll go back now to Foxborough for the start of the second half. Gillette Stadium is the site of today's game. Jim Nance, Phil Sims here with the call as we get set for the start of the third quarter. No return this time, and Roethlisberger will come back out at the 20. The Patriots defense had a rough go of it in the first half, Bill. And let's see what they can do now to start the second half. Well, they got manhandled. They got beat up. They got pushed around. I mean, let's toughen up and change things around. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. First down at the 20. With the contact, the ball comes out. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. Two tight ends on the field here. Second and ten. Bell's taking the handoff. Bell's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They follow him up for a short game. The Steelers from the 22. The catch is made. That's McCourty making the stop. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. Roethlisberger with the give. will take the snap from the 30. Bell's called on once again. Shuns all over the ball carrier. Hey, easy call. Be safe. Put the pressure on the other team to make the plays on the offensive side to beat you. So right here, you call something very conservative. Roethlisberger's setting up now in the pistol. The Steelers have it at the 29. Makes the grab. Steelers offense has been tough today. They are fighting out there on the field. That's a nice job picking up that first down. It's been fun to watch. They got a small lead here in the second half. We'll see if that first down can lead them to a score. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And they are in on Bell. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Second and goal to go. 
Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. One quarter to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers' offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. Stepping up to the three-yard line. Third and goal at the three. Chip shot here. And he converts here on the field goal try. Well, it was a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Steelers allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. They've got to change up this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. That's a gain of six. And here we have second down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Brady's on the move. And he's out of bounds. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. made what a lucky break this time they fumble but they recover it and maintain possession NFL teams the offense every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football how to hold it he didn't do a good job that time that's why he fumbled the Patriots come to the line first down marker is at the 32 doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Brady is in the shotgun. Gets it out for the completion. The Patriots go for it on fourth down, and it backfires. You must look at where you are on the field. You make a decision like this. You have to have a play that you know is going to work. Well, it backfires, and you turn over the football in terrible field position. McCourty's all over that offense and brings him down. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. Second and 12. Bell's handed the football. And that's a two-yard game. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now looking at third down. The Patriots lined up in the nickel. And he's going to be dropped for the sack. That's going to bring up fourth down after just a three-play series. Lining up for a 53-yard field goal. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. Takes it from the two.
The Patriots offense is back on the field, Phil. Of course, their last drive ended with that very curious decision to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. Well, I just wonder, what is it with the coach that he just hates the word punt? Because it was an obvious punting situation, and you go for it, so you're going to pay the price for making bad decisions. Yeah, what were they thinking there? Well, Jim, we'll never know, and I don't know if I want to know. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Brady's going to take it from the gun. It's intercepted. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Hand off made. And they are in on Bell. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Second and nine coming up. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Back now in this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. D'Angelo Williams. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Williams is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The defensive line, they're all shifting to the right. I think they're expecting a run. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Steelers trying to catch the defense by surprise here on third and long. They go with the run, and sometimes those runs on third and long work, and you can pick up a first down. But that time the defense was ready. They tried it, and it didn't work. This punt will not be returned. It will never see the field of play as it sails out of bounds. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. The Patriots' last drive ended with an interception. So what do you think here, Phil? Will they play it a little safer this time around? Oh, I don't think so. I think what you do on the offensive side, you stay aggressive. It's not a perfect game. There's going to be mistakes and penalties, and you got to learn to overcome that adversity. So go... there let it go and try to score points the Steelers defense now is going to go nickel now he's going to change the play and look out I think he's going to go down the field with the football pulls it in a foot race to the end zone and he's in for the touchdown what a play what a run Bill they had no answer to defend that throw in the end zone, even though everyone expected that would be the play call. Now an extra point will tie it. Oh, it's almost inexcusable from the defensive side, Jim. You know the pass is coming, and you're in position, and you can't make the play. But let's give some credit to the quarterback and the receiver. Good job by them. Everything hinged on them recovering that onside kick, and they failed to do so. Well, Jim, when you're doing the onside kick, you really got to hope for that perfect bounce of the football. That time it did not happen. That's why they didn't recover. The Steelers' offense takes the field, and they're looking to kneel this game out. How great a feeling was it to take the field, Phil, knowing you had just to take a knee, and then you could celebrate? Oh, it's the best. You get in the huddle. You can smile at each other. But the one thing you do talk about, Jim, make sure you protect the quarterback and don't let somebody come in and get a cheap hit on him before he can kneel down and end this game. You fight your guts out, and then you come up short. How in the world do you quarrel with this on the inside? You know, uh, it's so tough. When you lose a close game, you just sit down, you think about what you did during that contest. Could I have done something differently where it would have changed the outcome? And I'll tell you what, the answer usually to that is yes.
for Phil Simms and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.